Your flip video tonight is about choosing a method. Okay? Um, we've talked about solving systems of equations by graphing, solving by substitution, and solving by elimination. But how do you know what to choose? How do you know which method to choose when you're giving a system of equations? Okay? I have two examples right up here of problems um, that I'd like you to decide. What do you think you should, how do you think you should solve these? By graphing, by substitution, or by elimination? Okay? Most people's first reaction to these particular two problems are to solve them by graphing. Right? And the reason is why? Can you think of why? The reason is they're both, in fact, all of them all are set to y equals. Okay? While I would solve this one by graphing, because they are set to y equals, they have a nice slope, they have a nice y-intercept, I would not solve this system of equations by graphing. I do not want to have to graph a slope that is 20, or sorry, 36.5. Okay? I wouldn't have to find a graph with a y-intercept of 60. Right? So if I had a choice and I was doing this problem, I would graph the, or I, excuse me, I would solve this one by substitution. Because since they are both equal to y, if this equals y and this equals y, don't they equal each other? Does that make sense? Okay? So I would solve this first one by substitution and the second one by graphing because, like I said, these are nice slopes. These are relatively low y-intercepts. Um, they would be simple to solve by graphing. Could you solve this one by substitution, though? Absolutely, for the same reason as this. If this first equation equals y and this equation equals y, then, then don't they equal each other? Okay? Three more um, problems I'd like to talk about just real quick. All right? First one, second one, third one. Elimination, substitution, or graphing? Well, in this first one, neither one of them are set equal to y, so graphing is probably out. Um, it would be relatively simple to get them uh, into y equals, but here I would have to divide everything by 4, which would give me an OK slope, but not an OK y-intercept. So graphing is probably out in this problem. So my other two options are elimination and substitution. Since this first equation is already set equal to x, it would be very simple to substitute what I know for x into the second equation. So I would probably do this one with substitution. Okay. Likewise, in the second equation right here, the second system, um, probably not by graphing. I'd have to divide everything by a negative 7 here. I'd have to divide everything by a 5 here. It's just not conducive to making graphing the easiest way to solve it. Now, could I solve it by graphing? Absolutely yes. Okay? Um, but it's probably not the best way. Substitution or elimination. None of these variables are by themselves. None of them are alone, or none of them have a coefficient of 1. So elimination um, is probably the best choice instead of substitution because it would be uh, quite difficult to solve for one of these variables by itself. I would choose elimination. Okay. Last one. While I have a y equal or a y by itself here, I could solve this one relatively easy for y um, to make it easy for graphing. I wouldn't be able to do that with the top equation because I'd be dividing everything by negative 9. Okay? So here at this point, it would really be personal preference. Because I have an x that's alone and a y that's alone, so I could solve either one of those quite simply to perform substitution, or I have a positive 1 and a negative 9, which would make this very easy to do elimination. Um, so this truly would be personal preference. Do you like substitution better? Or do you like elimination better? Okay. Again, this is not the only ways to do these problems. Um, part of my job is to help you realize which way is the easier way. Which way maybe you're even you're more comfortable with. Okay. 
Uh, for bonus points on this flip video, please write blue marker in your comments section. And have a great day.